What's up everyone, Mariah here and welcome back to another video. So today's not going to be a vlog style. We're just going to get straight into story time when it comes to a time that I experienced when I felt super anxious when it came to food. So let me just set the tone for you. I'm in the middle of doing alternate day fasting and because of the holidays I did like four or five consecutive days of eating. So I was shooting, this was yesterday, for a 500 calorie day. I started with <clears throat> bone broth and I had a nutritional yeast and then a little bit later I had 14 ounces of sweet potatoes so that ended up being like 458 calories. So I was like pretty content. I was moderately active throughout the day. I took about 12,000 steps. Um, but I'm also kind of fighting a bit of a sickness in the middle of all of this. So I took my evening walk and then I got home and I took a shower, went to bed. I was already feeling like pretty tired. So I was thinking I was going to be able to fall asleep like pretty instantly and not have any issues. So I'm laying in bed in my normal routine that I usually do or I usually just watch YouTube videos for like an hour before I go to bed. And so I'm watching these videos and then before I know it, I'm on Instagram. And I'm looking <clears throat> through like my favorites page um, when it comes to food. And I'm just like in that mesmerized moment when it comes to your like, I wasn't even fasting, right? It was a 500 calorie day. I had eight with my cycle. I had root vegetables and I had plenty of B vitamins. So I felt like I was honoring my cycle because I'm about eight days from starting. And so I was laying there just obsessing over food pictures and thinking about what I was gonna eat the next day. And then it really just hit me that I was feeling that extreme anxiousness when it came to food. I was so tired, but my mind was so food focused. And in that moment, I kind of thought to myself, is this anxiousness that is induced by my hormones potentially being out of balance? Or is this anxiousness because I haven't properly fueled my body today? I first thought that it was hormone related because I felt like I had actually, even though I only had 500 calories, I had actually nourished my body with some pretty nutrient dense foods. So I you know, stopped looking at the photos of food. I put on a podcast like on a 15 minute timer so that I could just fall asleep to that because I usually like need some noise to fall asleep. And then I was just tossing and turning and tossing and turning and I just felt so much anxiety around food. And so I probably fought it for about 45 minutes. And what was so crazy about it was before I had no energy and all of a sudden like this adrenaline and this anxiousness was giving me um, all of this energy to where I wasn't tired anymore. So I tried to fight it, I tried to fight it. I was just like, I could eat right when I wake up in the morning. Like I really just wanted to hit 500 calories for the day. And then it got to the point where I kind of had a flashback of when I had experienced that before. It would be day like three, four, five, or six. And there are very few times that I ever eat late at night. It's not a very common thing for me to do. I just don't get hungry in the evening. So that is one thing to also take in mind to consider because you know, eating really late is something that I rarely ever do. If it's like a situational thing where I've been like drinking and then we go out to eat afterwards, like maybe, but not like when I'm at home and sober. So I decided to get up and then my mom had finished dinner and this is like 1130. So I had some teriyaki chicken and veggies. And then what I really, really wanted was a cauliflower rice that I had bought at Costco earlier that day. So I had the cauliflower rice and then I was feeling super, super satiated. That took me to like 1,000 or 1,100 calories for the day. And then I was like, well, this is a true test. Like if this was true anxiety that was, in my opinion, hormone induced, then I'm still gonna be anxious and I'm still gonna have a hard time falling asleep because typically when I feel anxiousness and it's not food related, it's in the beginning of the day. So I went to bed and I fell asleep instantly. And if you are in that same position where you are like so hungry during a fast that you feel anxiousness around food, in my opinion, you don't want to push it very far. In every single moment that I've felt that anxiousness and then just pushed it aside and tried to fight it and fight it and fight it, then my eating just got out of hand. And so I only fought it for about 45 minutes before I gave in and then I woke up with like a normal appetite. 
So I am very anti going really far past that point where you feel anxiousness around food. To me, that's when you know, that's when you know you've taken it too far because it's like your body is responding in a way of just giving you like all of this adrenaline and energy and anxiousness to go out and like hunt and find food. And so when you just feed the beast is what I like to say, you solve the problem and you really just help your body not binge in the future. So today's already the following day and I had a very small breakfast. I just had dinner, which was more veggies and the, um, the teriyaki chicken, same thing that I had last night, I had it today. And I've just been able to eat a normal amount and not feel that crazy anxiousness. And like I said, I really want to emphasize the fact that I believe this was totally, um, it could have been a combination of my hormone imbalance from, you know, starting my cycle soon in combination of not eating properly. Because if I think, I'm pretty sure that if I would have ate like 1200, 1500 calories, I don't think I would have felt that anxiousness because at the same time, I also felt quite a bit of emptiness in my stomach. So I knew that there was hunger involved because of the emptiness that I felt in my stomach. And I was actually quite shocked just because anytime I eat potatoes, they typically make me really full. But this was a moment where I had a good amount of potatoes, nearly one pound of potatoes. And I still really didn't feel that full. Like I could have ate more, but I was trying my best to keep it under 500 calories for the day. So I really wanted to share this video with you because I know that other people experience the anxiousness around food when you're not properly fueling your body. And what I've learned is that when I push it too far, that's when it gets bad. And you just try to feed the beast as soon as it happens, healthy food. And you know, sometimes you're craving something specific. I also had uh, two dates afterwards. So, cause I kind of had a craving for something sweet, but for the next like 10 ish days, you might be seeing more videos like this where I don't necessarily have a vlog or I follow my alternate day fasting routine. And that's because I'm not going to have a computer for nearly two weeks and it's easier for me to just do videos this way. Um, and so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, the bell for notifications. And I want to hear your experience down below in the comments of feeling anxiousness around food and how you solved it so we can all help each other in these crazy things that we experience when we fast. I am not here trying to fast too much. Absolutely not. I'm trying to find the perfect amount of fasting. Also take into consideration my cycle and my hormone levels. So like I said, it's all I have for you today. As always, go out there and create a life that you love.